governments there. We look forward to sitting down with the local organizations there and, and making it be the best deal uh, for fans from WWE, but also for that community coming in there, uh, you know, doing stuff within the community, doing stuff that benefits them financially. When, when you can talk about those international events and the millions, tens or more the millions of dollars that we bring into that economy there, that makes sense. It makes sense on all sides. So uh, our phone is ready. Let's go. Well, thank, thank you so much for your time and congratulations on a successful night of Survivor Series War Games. Thank you all very much. We'll see you soon. Thank you. And that will conclude our Survivor Series War Games press conference. Thank you to our media here tonight, all our fans watching throughout social media, and of course, our WWE superstars. Ladies and gentlemen, good night from Boston. Hey, so Survivor Series was last night, but this list was written and edited before that, so let me just quickly cover all my bases. Oh, thank goodness Survivor Series is finally good again. God, Triple H is the best. Take two. Bloody hell, what a disappointment. The endings to the War Games matches were so stupid. I thought Triple H's WWE was supposed to be better than this. God, wrestling's the worst. Take three. Can't believe The Rock returned and took a poo in a plastic bag and then threw the plastic bag at Roman shouting, I'm Rocky Poo Poo and now you're Rocky Poo Poo too. There we go, so that's a couple of the most likely options. So last week we talked about the best Survivor Series pay-per-view. Now let's talk turkey, and by turkey, I mean this goddamn turkey. I'm Adam Haley from Parts of Unknown, and here are our ten worst Survivor Series pay-per-views ever. And fair warning, this one's gonna get a little grumpy, so if you do want to see something a bit more happy, something celebrating wrestling, then check out last week's list. It's There's loads of really good Survivor Series pay-per-views on it. Hooray! Number 10, 1990. Survivor Series is somewhat famous for in-ring debuts, positioned as it is a major platform with six months to build to WrestleMania, but also not a show that traditionally sees major feuds blown off. Sting debuted at Survivor Series with The Shield, The Rock, Scott Steiner, Kurt Angle, but 1990 is infamous for one blistering debut, the first appearance of a superstar that would define the industry for decades to come, the turkey. The gobbledygooker, Eddie Guerrero's brother in a turkey suit, who burst out of an egg and danced with me, G. Also, the Undertaker was there. Take his debut does make the show a huge milestone in wrestling. Of course it does, but the actual rest of the show Sucks with the booking complicated by the tried once but never again gimmick of all the survivors from each match being put into a big ultimate survivor series match in the main event. A convoluted and nonsensical stip provided to give Hulk Hogan the ultimate warrior two wins on the night instead of one. Gotta love it when Hogan and Warrior.